Um, the, uh, uh, did you have a swapping liquid 50 if you did to start the day? Yeah, I also, yeah. you have to be binary. It was swapping to start the day, even if it was just a little bit. But yeah. I think what I've noticed about trading with, with the ASFX systems is that look how nice and solid that L50 is holding that bar zone. It's not dipping. It's not, it's even, in fact, it's probably, if not, it's, if it, it's rising, but it's so solid in that bar zone. We know how probable um, those nice, solid looking L50s are when they hold one zone the whole day. It more often than not ends the day higher. Now it's just about finding that um, entry, that correct timing of the entry. Now it's just about timing. 100%. I said yesterday, because it's been a slow week this week, I was like, look, we're going to drop the crash course tomorrow. Everyone's going to buy the crash course and we're going to get a winning trade. And here's a nice little, it looks like it's going to be a winning trade on mm. the stream here. Just because we started the stream at eight o'clock, yep. the entry's at 8.15. If this candle stays bullish, sure. we should see this thing. I mean, <clears throat> if you get another 15 minutes of bullish movement, most likely this one minute market sentiment yep. is going to hold the buy zone. It looks very bullish. Buy zone. One yep. minute. Yeah. And that's going to take us up to at least high a day, which is another 15 pips higher. Yeah. hundred percent. And that would, uh, you would get over one hour with that if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Yep. Yep. You okay. should get, yep. hundred percent. Okay, good. Well, I don't need you too much more, bro. I appreciate you. I, uh, I'm glad that you caught a nice trade. How are you doing overall this week? Was that your first trade of the week? Or second trade of the week? No, I, I had a small loss on GN. I think it was on Tuesday, if okay. I'm not mistaken. Tuesday, up on the week yeah, now but I, or very, flat very, on I the week? No, up on the week after that GCHF. I traded GCHF with, with 0.8, but got over, I took most of my piece off at, at 1.3 R or so. And then GN, I was trading at 0.5% and, and took it like at, with like half my stop. So 0 0.25, 0 0.3% loss. It's beautiful, bro. I love it. Okay, good. Well, yeah. listen, everybody. 100%. <clears throat> You can uh, connect with James on Instagram. You guys know where to get him. I'm sure he's got some YouTube videos coming for us in the next couple of days, right, James? Anything new coming? Yeah, yeah, I got I got one coming with you, and then um, I think I've I've, I've gone from filming with this weekend with another trader from South Africa, so that should be Beautiful. pretty cool as well. You got to get Brogan on the on the uh, on the videos, yeah, Brogan. Brogan, and you need to do one with James and Mike. You need to do one with James and Mike. <laughs> I <laughs> That would be, he's classic. Yeah, he's classic. He makes me laugh. Those two, Felipe and Michael, they, they you know, that you need more people that make you smile and laugh, especially these days. Also, I was saying that to Austin, just, you know, classic banter on the group this morning. It's, it's beautiful. Are you, uh, are you on FaceTime with them the whole trading session most days? Most, yep. Been doing it for about six months now, six months. Solid, this is bro. good accountability. And I think like when you have someone that, you know, that you're coming to the desk and you, and you know, you got to show up and, 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 and be on the call with them. It just makes you that extra motivated to get to the desk. And, you know, when you, I think when you do something as a team, I know that transcendence, what, what does the SFX logo mean again? Transcendence, transcendence as a group. Yep. Level up as a group. Yep. Is, is, yep, is better than if you do it as an individual. I think that's just, that is so true because you, you know, you just, when you have a team around you, that's encouraging and supporting you, you know, we can all win. It's not trading. Yes. You individually clicking the button, but we just, we can all win. It's not one person wins and another loses. It's we all win together. And that's, I think that's the cool thing about life. You also feel more fulfilled when you do that. Uh, for me, at least, because I like to see other people achieve what they thought, you know, at one stage, not possible. I love it, bro. Mike's in the chat right now saying, James, I love you, bro. Mike, we love you too, bro. Yeah. Thank love you, James. Love you too, brother. Love you too. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I appreciate you coming on. Everybody, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, show James some love, connect with him on Instagram and, uh, I'll catch you later, brother. We'll watch GBPNZD in the group chat. We'll keep yep. everybody posted on that and then we'll uh, we'll continue. But thank you, bro. Appreciate you. 100%. Thanks for having me, brother. Cheers. Of course. Cheers. See ya. Always a good time talking to James, right, everybody? We love James. <clears throat> Does James still have spots open for what, Mason? I was wondering what the logo meant. Now I know. There you go, Daniel. Brogan, I knew you'd be here, bro. Let's go over and look at GBPNZD. Anybody in GBPNZD? This looks like it's a nice trade here. Beautiful A1. Let's check the group chat and see. <clears throat> Let me send a picture here. Good. So we've got the money here, GCHF coming up. So all the GBP pairs looking like they're picking up a little momentum here. I wonder how high this can carry GBP NZD. For those of you that are in, oh, nice. Two for two today, Brogan. Beautiful. Ryan's in it making money. Good, 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 good. Just bought the flash course. Good. You're welcome. Thank you. For everybody here, if you have any questions about GBP NZD, put them in the chat. 
I'm going to click through the other pairs really quick and just make sure we're not missing any entries. Nope, not there. Close on EuroJPY, but not there. So you give me one minute divergence on EuroJPY? No, it's probably getting pushed by the news. The Euro pairs are getting tossed around. I want to be in GN, literally found it. Good, Shauna. You're getting closer and closer to finding the entries as they happen. That's all we're trying to do. That's where the live stream and the courses come together. Austin Mendoza, what's up, bro? Did you hear we were talking about your idea on uh, GBP AUD this morning? And me and James kind of, well, James really broke it down for why GCHF was a little bit better. Did you hear all that? If not, make sure you rewind and watch that. I think you would definitely find some value in that. All right. This is the fun part of trading. Once we're watching a trade in play, we just sit here and wait and judge it candle by candle. Good. I'm in GA on the one end. Nice, Liam. Nice. It sucks that I can't play music while we're streaming. I feel like that's the only thing that kind of kills my streaming vibe and doesn't, like, makes me, like, I don't want to stay on here that long. It's because I, I like listening to music and it's, like, silent in here unless I'm talking and it's, like, so having fun watching this candle close, everybody. Thoughts on GN higher time frames? Four hours shifting, would you knock it? I got higher time frames as uh, long biased. Go to the one hour. One hour coming off the eight, L50 coming into the buy zone, kind of in reset there on the one hour. Four hour, market sentiment is short biased, shifting on the four hour. Yeah, so no, I must have been thinking of a different pair. So overall, higher time frames are short biased or indecisive. Higher time frames, indecisive. Since we are trading counter trend, that is expected. Good call, Josh. Good call. I'm in GN, by the way. Funding talent didn't let me execute GA because of maintenance. Interesting. Good. Well, as long as everybody's seeing this A1, then then I'm happy about it. Because I said yesterday, I was like, I hope we can catch a winning trade on the live stream tomorrow. And then, boom, manifested the shit out of that. Thank you. <laughs> on GN, with that shift candle being within the Asian range, would you that consider that a knock? No. Good question, Blake, but no. That shift can happen in the Asian range. All I'm looking for is for it to break out of the Asian range, and it gets out of it right here with a body, two bodies above that Asia high right there, right? As long as it's out of the Asian range, this is typically what we get. The break, the first move is not always the runner. More times than not, it does not make the full move. The retest, and that's where you get the full move. We used to call these 50-50 bounce trades, but then I just stopped calling them that. But like how it comes through the 50, bounces off the 50, the blue EMA, that's where we got that name. But now really what we're watching is just to see market sentiment on the one minute, hold the buy zone. That will keep us outside 